Welcome back guys. In this video, we will solve the transportation problem based on the mathematical formulation that we just formulated in the previous video using Excel. In the next video, we will solve it using Lego. So how to do this? What I did here is to copy paste this table on Excel. So I copied the same table and I made sure that all uh, the values are the same. And then the first step ever to solve a transportation problem on Excel after copying this table, copy it another time. Okay, so copy the table without the capacity and demand another time at the top or at the bottom. All right, and then clear all the cost, the shipment cost. Now, guys, this will be what? This will be XIJ, which is the amount of products shipped from plant I to warehouse J. In other words, these cells will stand for the decision variables that I need to solve using Excel. And then, guys, the, the second step is, of course, to find what? The total cost in order to minimize it in my objective function. So what is the total cost? What do you think will be the total cost? The total cost, let's say this is my objective function to be minimized. So I'm gonna do this. So this is the total cost. It will be this cell times the corresponding shipment cost plus this cell times the corresponding shipment cost over the rows and the columns all over this table. Now I can do this. You can continue and write all uh, this uh, very long equation. However, guys, this will be waste of time because as I uh, uh, as I said in the previous video, I can use some product because this Excel function will do the product of two arrays or two matrices. How each cell is multiplied by the corresponding cell in the second matrix or in the second array and then excel will do the sum of all these products so i'm gonna say some product of what of all these decision variables comma all these shipment costs so guys in this case you will have your objective function so only use sum of product of all, like here, all the decision variables, comma, all my shipment cost. Okay, now what about the constraints? As you can see here, I have two constraints. The first one, of course, this is not step four. Step four is to solve it. The first constraint is that for each I, for each plant, the, the total number of products over all the warehouse must be less than the capacity. So what I'm gonna do here, sorry equal to what to the sum it is the same as in matlab so to the sum of what of all these cells all right and then you can drag the cell over all uh, the rows and then guys each of this cell should be less than the corresponding capacity. So this is the first constraint. Now the second constraint is that all the sum for each warehouse, all the sum of the product should be less than the demand, the corresponding demand for each warehouse, which means, guys, this is equal to the sum, sum of what? Of all these cells. And then I can drag the sum all over the warehouses. I have four warehouses. So this row here must be less than this row here. So that's it, guys. First of all, copy paste the table without capacity and demand. Clear out uh, the shipment cost because these cells will be for the decision variables. Then do the profit. How to do the profit? It is the sum product of your decision variables here so from d5 till g7 here in this case with what with the shipment cost from d12 till g14 in this case and then you have to do your uh, constraints so the constraints are for each plant i'm gonna do the sum and this sum for each plant should be less than the capacity of each plant and then the same goes for the demand however here 
guys remember that this cell here or these cells here must be greater or equal to the demand in order to meet this demand or in order to satisfy it all right so now guys i can do the solver so data solver and don't forget guys if you don't have the solver go back to the previous video and add it all right now what is my objective function in this case this is my objective function and should be minimized so this is the first type of problem where the objective function should be minimized because in fact I'm, I'm i'm talking about the shipment cost any cost should be minimized any profit should be maximized by changing which variables all these variables must be changed so i'm only dragging the mouse over these uh, variables from d7 to d7 and then subjected to what constraints add the first constraint is that this one should be less than this one and then this one should be less than this one and then this one the cell here should be less than 95 what i can do is to drag the mouse here so all this column should be less than or equal to what to all this column okay and then i'm gonna add and now for the demand all this row should be greater or equal because this is a demand to so all this row and then what i'm gonna say is okay i only have two types of constraints so of course guys you can do it by cell by cell but this is a waste of time so you can do uh, directly array by array and then guys i'm gonna say solve so this is also simplex lp all right and and i'm gonna say solve and then i'm gonna keep the solver solution and that is my solution now if i want to do some analysis of my solutions let's say uh, this 78 what does this mean 78 here in fact guys 78 products or 78 kilograms or 78 tons of product this depend on the scale so 78 products let's say must be shipped from dublin to this warehouse tinac now no product must be uh, shipped from dublin to chicago because in fact chicago will have all the products shipped from Bangkok, right? 47 from Bangkok. So Chicago doesn't have any product that should be shipped from Dublin or Sunnyvale. They are all shipped from Bangkok and so on. And you have to make sure, guys, that uh, the number of products are less or equal to the capacity and same goes to the demand. And the best way or the best case scenario, the demand will be equal or uh, uh, the, the the number of products shipped will be equal to the demand like this case 80 80 78 78 as well as for the capacity so you are reaching the maximum capacity while you are satisfying all the demands and your cost is minimized so that's it in the next video we'll solve this problem using lingo thank you